<laughs> we are really in Finland. That you need to jump in the sauna and afterwards you need to jump in the sea. Three, whoa! Oh my god. And these are gonna be perfect for our very next stop. Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Helsinki here in Finland. This pretty much marks day one of Jess's epic <laughs> European Christmas that she's dreamt about since she was a kid. <laughs> I'm so excited right now, but we have two days here in the city and the first place that I'm taking Stephen to is I found this cute little cafe right on the water and I've heard that they do some of the best hot chocolates, best cinnamon buns in the city and it is located right on the water in a hundred year old kind of like red traditional little hut. Okay, I've got the goods. Hot chocolate, cinnamon bun and some sausages because we're about to cook them in the open fire. Sorry, they have an outdoor fire pit in front of the little cafe and you can buy some sausages to go with your hot chocolate. This is so cool. And you just kind of just cook up your lunch. We We're need to know. Finland. <laughs> we are really in Finland. We need to know how that hot chocolate tastes. Oh yeah, look at this cream. Mm. Wow, yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> We're officially in Christmas time. Mm -hmm. So while the sausages are being cooked, I'm gonna be a little bit cheeky and jump straight into dessert. I love cinnamon buns. And I've always wanted to try one here in Finland. Mm. Is it good? She did heat it up. Is it still hot? <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> really good though. Something about cinnamon and Christmas. So this is a perfect start to our holiday. When you walk into the cafe, it smells like Christmas because she's baking cinnamon buns all day. Oh yeah, this looks cool by the fire, but I'm telling you inside is so cute because it's just like four seats in there. It's so small. <laughs> We've heard when you come to Finland, you cannot miss going to a Finnish sauna. So we have found one of the most popular places to go and we've heard because this one is located right on the Baltic Sea, that you need to jump in the sauna and afterwards you need to jump in the sea. Now I'm pretty sure that it is almost freezing. So uh, good luck Steve. <laughs> I get out of this one. <laughs> Alrighty, I've just gone inside the hot sauna. Now this is the finished part of the sauna, going into the icy cold water. Not ideal conditions. Oh my gosh, it's so cold just out here. That was such an incredible experience. Wow. I cannot believe you did it twice. I was skeptical on how crazy this experience was. 
But I mean, really the sauna like heats you up. You always have this heat blanket on you and then you jump in and yes, it is a shock. But then you go back <laughs> into the sauna and it's like this numbing feeling. It's definitely about the sensation. And it was quite good as well because there was this room with a fireplace. So I just yes. chilled in the fireplace room. And to go in for two hours, it's only 19 euros. So it's not too bad for such a beautiful location. Oh, one thing we are so upset about is that the Christmas markets here in Helsinki open in a few days. So we are just missing out. But we were just walking home back to our Airbnb and we noticed that there is this mini, mini market on. Like there's like five stalls and we're going to pretend that that is our Christmas market moment here in Finland. So we're going to go check it out. <laughs> oh, Bob's. First try of a hot cup of gluigi. <laughs> glug glug. Oh, it's like a mulled wine. Oh my goodness, that is. You can so see nice. the steam. Oh, it's so warm. There's it's like a like, little seating area, and then the markets are just out there. It's like a couple of degrees cold, but this is so nice and toasty. When you have a sip, all the steam goes everywhere. Ready? Ooh, blow into it. We have an assortment of pre-dinner snacks. Mm. Gingerbread? Mm. It is a gingerbread. Can I interest you in a handful of sultanas? Mm. I'm here for the free snacks while you eat your gluggy. It is the next day and we are actually having quite a chilly one. We were hoping for snow but I feel like it's just not there yet. But to warm up we are heading out to a local food market because we have heard that when you come to Finland you need to try the salmon soup and supposedly the best salmon soup here in Helsinki is at the food markets. So we've just come into the market hall and there are so many places to eat but we've come to the busiest and they were serving a lot of types of soup and one is the salmon soup and look at this just full of chunks of salmon and potato Ready? let's know what it's like mm. <laughs> wow that's warming that'll warm you up as well it's kind of cool because we're inside this like massive shed but then there's like individual almost huts mm. ours so is a roof. different stuff yeah. really really nice wow also there is unlimited bread yum oh my goodness i am so full that was a very good value like the bowl oh, is yeah. massive it is full of fish full of potatoes and only 10 euro for lunch that feels pretty good for, for finland but even though we're so full we're walking out and we saw a little bakery and there was this one thing that caught our eye we had never seen it before what was it called tipalepe tipalepe hey and um it said that you could only get in finland so i'm like okay okay we'll get some she put it in this bag and she told me i have to scrunch it all up and then we eat it which seemed like odd because it looked like a piece of artwork like it looked like a I know, bird's I don't nest ruin it ready all right and now we eat some kind of looks like a funnel cake Ready? Crunchy. Crunchy. Mmm, it's like a crunchy pastry with uh, icing sugar on it. Yum. Yeah. Definitely don't need it. So full from the soup. So tonight, well, it's not actually tonight, it's 4 p.m. We've come down to what they call Christmas Street. It's Alexander Street and they cover this street full of Christmas lights and there are so many shops. So I think we're going to be doing a little bit of our Christmas shopping tonight. So 
a lot of the storefronts actually have some Christmas displays on there. So you walk in there, it's a bunch of different characters, and you kind of just have a look around. It looks very Christmassy. Oh, literally. You just step into the streets, you're like, yep, it's Christmas time. We have just come back from shopping and I think I have found the best purchase I've ever made in my life. <laughs> Look at these. You could not get these in Australia. And these are going to be perfect for our very next stop. Wow. Come on, Dasha. It is the best place to kickstart Christmas because Santa lives here. Hello. Hi Santa. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I swear this is one of the most magical places in the world.